All right, what's going on, guys? It's Tenster, and I just wanted to dedicate a whole video um, to my channel about the whole ordeal that went down about me being in this locked lobby, or Tensor lobbies, as you guys are calling them. Um, many people are assuming things and also making up extra scenarios that aren't true or never happened. Um, so before you start assuming things like other people, I just want you to know like what actually happened from me. Um, I ain't gonna sugarcoat anything. I'm just gonna tell the truth. So basically the past couple weeks, I've been getting pretty bored with trickshotting, you could say. Um, I mean, ever since Ghost came out, it's been kind of boring, but I don't know. I just haven't been much into it lately. I've been more interested in, like, playing GBs on Ghosts and stuff like that. Just to take a break from trickshotting. Um, I got busy with school, and I just strayed away from it. Um, because if you really think about it, it does take up a lot of your time. Um, especially if you wanna, especially if you wanna really succeed in the whole YouTube game and the whole climbing the ladders of teams, um, it does take up a lot of your time, and it's that sacrifice that a lot of people decide to make. Um, you kind of have to give up a lot of other things if you really wanna, if you really wanna excel and this part of gaming, I guess. Um, since it's based off, basically based off luck, um, if your no-scope is going to hit or not, it can get irritating, and that's what, I just, I just really got like, one day I just like deeply thought about it, and I just realized how much time I've wasted, but then again, um, I've also gained a lot of things. I'm not saying it's been a total waste. Like, I've gained a lot of things out of this. Um, but there are a lot of negative negative things to come with this. Um, but this isn't that isn't the point of the video. So, basically, like I was saying, I was getting bored of trickshotting. And I was playing these GBs on Ghost for about two weeks. Maybe two to three weeks. And I am friends with a few people that are not or were not as interested in what I was doing and they were still trick shotting on on Ghost, Black Ops 2, MW2, stuff like that. And um let's just say one of my friends, I'm not gonna name names, um if you go back and look at the video of of us being exposed, I'm pretty it's you can see who was in the lobby, but those aren't the only people either. Um I'm not gonna name any names, like I said they were begging me to come play on Black Ops 2, trickshotting for a while for the past couple of days, and I usually denied them, rejected them, and just kept playing GBs, um, told them I didn't really want trickshot, it was boring, blah, blah, blah. So one night, I kept losing, I lost like, I think I lost like seven GBs in a row, so I, I was pretty fed up with that, so I decided to come, I, st I decided to give in and go trickshot on Black Ops 2, and, um, the party that I was in, I wasn't told that we were going to be doing these locked lobbies. So, actually, they uh, they started the game, and I had no idea what was happening. I wasn't really paying attention. I think I was looking at my computer. And I literally go to spawn in in one of these games. I didn't. I wasn't looking at my monitor or anything, what was going on. And I noticed there was only four people on the team and like three on the other and I was and I was like like what are we gonna back out we just lost like two people and basically he, they were just like no 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 stay stay it's all good and we got to last and literally there was a kid standing still there and we we're I was like what's going on and I was asking them because I didn't know what was going on. I've never, I've never been in one of these locked lobbies before. I've never even set up on Black Ops Two in my life before. I've never like 
Usually when people are setting up, I kill them. I've never set up at all on Black Ops 2. Um, I'm not saying I'm like totally anti-setup here. Like, you do what you want, it's a video game, I don't care. I preferably don't usually, but I'm not like anti-setup, like, fuck everyone that sets up, blah blah blah, get fucking cancer for setting up, like, I ain't about that, you do what you do, whatever, I play how I want, you play how you want, I don't give a shit, I do me, but this kid was setting up, and my first instinct was to kill him, like, what are we doing, like, why would you put me in this situation, and, but I don't know why, but I just made a stupid decision and stayed, and I was like, I was hesitant of staying, like, I was, I was hesitant of, like, going for shots at all, because I knew there was a theater, but I didn't think about it at the time, and I didn't think, like, I was gonna stay for multiple games and just kept, keep doing it, and I didn't think that someone would actually go into my theater and catch me, um, it's not like I was intending on using any of these clips, um, I was basically just saying, like, why, why would you do this, like, this looks so set up, what even, what is even the point, I mean, unless you're into hitting shots, I mean, the people that I'm with aren't, weren't really into, in big teams, so, the people that are watching their episodes at, at the end of the day aren't really critiquing them and looking for, like, set up clips and shit like that, like, I would, um, if I were to put out an app on Soar, um, there's always at least a couple people that would notice something, if I were to put something like that in an episode, which obviously I've never have, I've never hit a setup clip. I've ne on Black Ops Two at least back in MW Two old days, obviously, but I've never hit a setup clip. I've never used one. I wasn't attending on one. I've never been in a locked lobby before this situation happened, and I just stayed in the lobby for, I don't know, I stayed in for like 10, 15 games, just because I didn't, I was, I, I kept saying like I'm not going to use this if I'm hitting it. Why am I even like? playing this and I just knew in my head that someone was going to catch this someone was going to go into my theater and someone was going to find this and after 10-15 games I got bored of it and I said fuck this I'm going back to GB's on Ghost and that's what I did and sure enough maybe an hour later an hour and a half later I'm getting all these tweets I'm looking at Twitter and I'm seeing all these tweets about like tensor like how could you and blah 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 like brule joking around and shit but i didn't know what was going on and um i finally got linked the video by strobe and he said uh he let me explain myself um the video was that same video in my previous video that i put in the beginning of it of this fanboy of saw trust exposing me um, if you're watching this saw trust, that was a, that was a really fucking cringy video. I gotta admit that that was fucking cringy, but that's not the point. Um, and yeah, I explained myself, but, um, the sore leaders that were on at the time weren't really feeling that. And at the end of all this, I got kicked, um, but yeah, it kind of sucks because like I was in sore for like a year and a year and almost a half, and I don't know. I just I worked so hard like to help like or try to improve the team, if you know what I mean. Like I thought I was finally like I don't know. I thought I was becoming like one of the the main factors of sore, the main. No, I wouldn't say the face of Sora, obviously not, because there are definitely other people in there. People like Aza and other people that are obviously bigger, Brio and stuff like that, but I feel like I was like one of the veterans of Sora, basically. And I didn't think that I could ever get kicked. Um, unless obviously I didn't I disappeared for a year or something, but like I always saw myself in Sora, I always saw myself as Sora Tensor. I always saw myself helping out Sora, I always saw myself you know, trying to help Soar. I always saw my leader as Mac. Like, I don't know. It's been too long. Like, I can't see myself in another team. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But that's about it. I just wanted to explain this whole situation to you guys. Just so you all know. Um, like I said, I have never used a setup clip before in any of my episodes. 
I have never been in a one of these locked lobbies before in my life. I don't I didn't even know how like how you did how you do it. I mean, I know how you do it now cuz I got explained to it after, but like I don't know. I've never you I've never I, I wasn't intending on using any of the clips. I was just playing to play because I was bored of GBs and I really didn't I wasn't even interested in trick shining. I just did it cuz my friends asked me to. And sure enough, Someone did catch me and cop the whole games, all the games, and I got fucked over at the end of it all. So I just want to let you guys know that that was not my intentions. Don't go fucking through all my old videos and saying, are these ones fake? Are these ones fake? Because I've never hit a fake shot or set up shot in my life on Black Ops 2, Ghosts, any game past MW2 where everyone was like, don't set up. I've never hit a set up shot or used one. Um, but yeah, sorry about this long video. I just really want you guys, really want you guys to know what actually happened from me. Um, that was 100% honest. This was first take. It's not like I fucking wrote this down and pretended what to say. Um, this is exactly what happened. And I just wanted to, to publicize this. So yeah, guys. Once again, sorry about how this all happened. I didn't mean to start shit on Twitter and stuff like that. I was just, I just thought I didn't, I just thought it was unfair. I, I don't know, not unfair. I just thought I didn't get a chance to explain myself. And I don't think I deserved to be kicked, but what can you do? It's all good now. Um... Hopefully you guys will still watch my videos. I'm not going to stop uploading. I'm going to continue to be uploading. My last video was a very sarcastic video. Um, so I will keep uploading. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't think I'm going to join another team. Um, I'm still going to do phase five just to fucking do it. Whatever. And yeah, hopefully you guys don't think of me differently. Um, but yeah. I mean, even if I did set up, I don't think you guys should think of me differently. It's a, it's a video game, but I understand where people are coming from, where, like, nobody wants... I understand why people get mad when people hit set up shots. Like, other people are... Like I said, it takes a lot of time. Like, it's a lot of time. It's based off luck, and if you're spending this much time to hit shots, then it does get aggravating, and I could see why people would get mad at... Other people who are basically just going for shots the entire time on kids that are just standing still. But I'm not necessarily against it, but I'm not for it either. Um, but yeah, I've rambled on this video way too much. If you're still, if you're at the end of this video and you watch this all, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna keep uploading. I'm gonna keep doing my I'm gonna keep doing me. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace.